going? How's it going, backpack dog? All right, we're gonna hike. How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and this is my dog, Camper Delventhal. We live in a 2006 Toyota Prius, and we're here to take you along on the wild ride. So fasten up your seatbelts and let's have some fun. Ah! <gasps> He's literally climbing me like a goat. Hey. Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. <sighs> Camper and I would be so thankful. Last week, we met up with our best friend Lauren and Camper's girlfriend Daphne in Idaho. We hit some of our favorite remote spots together. From hiking to gorgeous alpine lakes, soaking in hot springs, biking deep into the forest, and even stealth camping in the city as we caravaned west, eventually making it into Washington State. Spot. Oof, a little rough to get to for the Prius, but it will be fine. After a few super long drive days, we posted up at a remote spot deep in the forest. Then spent the next 24 hours just relaxing, stretching, making yummy meals, and gourmet coffee. Getting some work done. We even got in a beauty session and cut Lauren's hair. Yes, oh my god, I, mean. I love it. Oh. Oh. And of course, no time in the wilderness would be complete without a campfire and some dancing. I made this fire. How do you feel about that, Lauren? You're a little liar. You're a dirty <laughs> little liar. <laughs> Why are my pants on fire? <laughs> By the way, please check your local area's fire restrictions, safety, and how to properly put out a fire before making one. Great stick placement. Hey Lauren, you take a picture of me next to the fire I made. <laughs> <laughs> how does she do it? <laughs> this was an amazing reset for the adventure we had in store for the weekend. Good morning, Camper. That was such a good night's sleep. I love sleeping out here. Yay, so we woke up to Lauren's friends being here and now we are just following them to the local town to get some coffee and then go on a huge hike. I'm so excited. Life in the fast lane, a camper make you lose your mind. Life in the fast lane, I just keep getting past. Pass me, pass me, pass me, pass, 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 pass. I was food on my tongue the whole time. That's weird. Although this drive is remote and beautiful, when we got to the trailhead, we experienced something quite different. You guys, seriously, I've never seen anything like this. The parking is so insane. I don't know where my friends are, and this is adding at least a couple miles on our hike. This is nuts. Oh my God, we found them. Okay, now we're parking. Oh, we found them. Okay, I was very nervous we weren't gonna find these guys. Wow. Okay. Ah, now the longest part of the trek and the most beautiful. Look at all these cars. We got like three miles along these. About a half an hour later, we made it to the trailhead. <laughs> Scenic as hell. No safety issues whatsoever. <laughs> So everyone at the parking lot was here for the trail across the way. So we got really lucky. We got this one all to ourselves. Whee! This trail was a beautiful one, crossing multiple streams with views that kept opening up more and more all along the way. This is also the perfect time of year to visit this area. Surrounded by diverse and beautiful colors from the leaves changing with the seasons. That's very hard to say. Larch, 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 yeah, it is. <laughs> larch, 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 larch. Which was becoming more and more apparent the higher we got in elevation. We are in larch heaven. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Oh, you want it more? Don't you? Okay, dog. All right, we're gonna hike. <laughs> Look at them. They're so crazy. These girls back here. They're so cool. We love them. It's my favorite thing about hiking with friends or even alone, like how my friends went off and now I was alone so I could film. I made new friends too. It's just so fun. <sighs> There's nothing like it. 
Wait till you see this. We made it to the top. <laughs> hey, we found them. Once reaching the top, we took in all the views together. And of course, took some summit photos and just had a ton of fun. <laughs> then took the long trek back down the mountain. I'm not sure. Matching dogs, matching shoes. That's pretty, huh, Camp? Didn't forget about you guys. All right, camp, we did it. And back to the car we go. I almost just had a minor panic attack thinking someone stole my car. Or I thought it was towed. That's how far we are. <laughs> what? Home sweet home. Last of the line. We took the gorgeous drive back to our camp spot and made it just in time for the campfire. But Camper and I needed some time alone. So I just took a little washcloth shower, excited for a real one. Um, I'm feeling so mentally stimulated and my friends just showed up. So I kind of need some time alone. <laughs> it's been a while. After a short reset, we were excited to meet some new friends around the campfire. <laughs> <laughs> Camper especially, as he played musical chairs on all of the guests. And we moved on. Yeah. <laughs> what a fun evening with friends. Good night, mister. I love you. Good morning. Oh yeah, look at all that condensation, baby. Oh, I love these lights. Not cool. Don't worry, I know what all the lights mean. I know. Tire pressure sensor just broken. I check it all the time. Check engine light, uh, maintenance required because it goes off at 3,000 miles. Prius doesn't need it changed for like five to 10,000. We good. We good. We good. We're good. Today, we would all pack up and head our separate ways. But first, a stop at our favorite coffee shop. Cheers, good boy. In true Nikki and Camper fashion, we went to the car to grab a couple things. Next thing you know, I made new friends. And guess what? We're going climbing. Camper, we're going climbing. So we said our goodbyes. Cheers. Safe driving, it was so nice to meet you. Bye guys. And headed to our climbing destination. I'm so excited. This is my first time outdoor climbing. This is gonna be amazing. That's about to be me. Yay! I'm so stoked. So we did a little refresher course for me and got to climbing, scaling all the different walls. I feel like walking right? like on the moon. Once Camper woke up from his nap, he even joined us. It was such a good time. I'll definitely be doing this again. We said our goodbyes and continued our journey deeper into the mountains. And then I remembered that one of my cousins was an environmental educator and was currently in the North Cascades Mountains. So we headed towards her. She would be in the field teaching late, so we decided to spend the rest of the day taking in the views. Yes, good boy. And of course, exploring the area by foot. <laughs> I like doing fun things. Okay, go ahead. Who's that? Who's that thing? Hey, camp. Getting back to the car. Just bring your head limp. We finished our hike and friends and family were there to greet us. We've got Mike and Talia here, leading the way. And we arrived just in time for a freshly foraged mushroom dinner. Hey there. Hey there. Welcome to 
Natalia and Mike's kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> so these are lobster mushrooms. They do taste like lobster, they taste pretty fishy. Good. And they're in the Rusula family, and so they're actually, they'll be white mushrooms, but then there is a parasite that attacks it. No way. And makes it red, makes it this color, and then it starts to smell fishy, it smells like a lobster. That is so cool. Ooh, mushroom mania. After dinner, we got a good night's sleep, as tomorrow would be a hiking day for the books. Bye, Prius. Not only were we so spoiled to have our own hiking guide, Talia also made fresh bread for breakfast. You made this? I like it a lot. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Thanks for being the responsible one, Mike. <laughs> All right, we are just starting off our hike and we are super lucky because today we have family here. Talia, what's up? Hi. Talia is an environmental educator. She has been all over the country just teaching about plants and animals and she's so much fun. And today we get her all to ourselves. Yay, happy to be here. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> oh, this is Mike. He's also an environmental educator. Hi. And he's got the camera. As we hiked, they taught us all about the plants and the animals in the area. And of course, after our feast, all about the mushrooms. Big yellow blob on the side of the yeah. <laughs> I want to eat it. Could you eat it? Probably. Nah, wouldn't be good anymore. I like those mushrooms that we're gonna have tonight. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> about an hour into our hike, we took our first water and snack break. Yes, snacks make me dance. You guys want to come in for a little three shot on my phone? Woo! Coming to a Christmas card near you. <laughs> Ready? Then we got back on the trail. Woo! You'll see this lighter, almost lime green. Yeah. And that indicates that it's newer wow. and it's younger. And you can actually just pick off a little piece and nibble on it. It's a little citrusy. I want to do it. Mm hmm Just, and you always want to go for the, like the very light color lime green ones. Yeah, I like it. Mm hmm Pretty good. Let's show you the some. I don't know if you'll like it. You could try some. <laughs> These are larches which are a species of pine trees in Washington. They're in the Pacific Northwest and throughout Canada. And they're turning this yellow color right now before the needles actually fall off. And they're a rare example of a deciduous conifer, which Ooh. means that even though they're in the pine family, they actually are going to lose their leaves, unlike a lot of other pines and other things in the conifer family. Wow. But you can kind of see them high in elevations. So yeah, they're, they're really cool. Well, and they're super soft if you feel them, and that's partially because the lead, the needles are dying. I know! I can't believe it myself! That's an actual volcano? Yep. Which one? Glacier Peak straight ahead. We took another snack break. And Camper tried to hunt his own snack. Hey, Camp. You gonna find the pike under this rock too? <laughs> before making it to the highest point of the trail. All right, we made it to the highest point. And now we go down. Oh, way down there. The end is so close, but so far. Wow. Oh. That is super cool. Once we got back, we had our leftover mushroom dinner, did some stretching and said our goodbyes. I love you. Oh, I love you, I'm fine. I'm going out to my Prius home. I don't wake up as early as Polly. Stay tuned for next week as we continue our journey into Oregon and you meet my sister Kayla. And of course, if you'd like to help out Camper and I, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. And if you'd like all of our videos early access and during that time ad-free, join our Patreon for as low as $1 a month. Have a great day. We love you all.